Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a different type of vlog today, which I'm really excited to bring to you all. I am actually going up to Mare's and we're gonna do a little art project and I, I can't wait to show you. It's something that you've probably seen all over TikTok and something that like everyone's doing, but I'm just really pumped to do it myself because we got some big plans for this art project. We are going to be doing this. I'll show like a little picture right here. We're gonna be doing a canvas plaster art project that we're going to be putting up in our houses. It might not turn out like this and it might not turn out good but we're going to try. I went into Ace Hardware yesterday to like get the plaster and everything. This old guy was so sweet. He was like he was the one that was obviously working there. He's like, can I help you find something? And I was like, I'm looking for this exact thing. He's like, well, we don't have that, but like we have this instead. And he goes, may I ask you like what you're using this for? And I was like, well, you can probably tell I'm not using this for anything manual or for any like handiwork, but, and he was like, I have figured so. And I'm like, he's probably had so many people in here that have like done this like same exact thing, asking for the same exact plaster. But we're gonna kind of like take you along for the ride and like how we do it and what we bought, what we're using, um, and then kind of like the method we're gonna be doing. We're probably gonna be doing something like super, super simple compared to like other plaster art projects I've seen. We just kind of want to keep it really simple yeah i wanted to come on here really quick and chat before because the last time i vlogged was christmas day i think is like when i ended off the vlog and let me tell you i have had a week since then it is friday after christmas day so i think it's like the 29th something like that you guys on the day after christmas day was monday and i door dashed kava like it's a mediterranean kind of like chipotle style restaurant and i door dashed kava after i tried door dashing something else and it never came and I got full on food poisoning and I have been fucked up ever since. So Monday I had it like 11 a.m. and I'm gonna spare you all the details until around 9 p.m. when I finally looked at Austin in the eyes and I said, you gotta take me to the doctor right now. Like I can't do this any longer. Throwing up all day, I was so dehydrated, I was dizzy, I was orientated, like I could not stay, like it was horrible. I. Oh my god and then i was getting these cramps like where like my stomach would like i felt like i was literally having baby contractions i'm like i'm gonna get to the hospital and they're gonna be like you're eight months pregnant and i'm not even gonna know it like that's how i literally felt i thought i was having like a baby at this point like it was so miserable i'm like if that's like what having a baby is like then i don't want to have a baby just kidding i don't want to have kids but yeah it was a lot to handle so well, the only thing that was open was an er so my mom austin and i roll into the er and they give me fluids and like pain meds and immediately after that i was like 10 times better but that was monday and it's friday and i've been struggling like ever since like i may sound like i'm fine but you guys my stomach is not well like i am not one to skip meals i eat everything i do not skip meals i don't skip my coffee in the morning i'm a very like I eat everything and I want to eat everything. I want to have a very like healthy diet and I want to eat what I want. And let me tell you, I have been living off of chicken broth and like ramen noodles for days now. And like sometimes a smoothie, but I can barely keep that down. Like it is not well. I I don't know what to do. If any of you guys have had food poisoning and have experienced the same exact thing, I thought I was gonna be like wanted, like I thought I was gonna be like, I'm after the monday i got food poisoning i was gonna be good after that that is not the case it's been sticking around with me for a very long time and i'm kind of nervous like it's so here and i do not feel well but beside the point we are gonna head to mares and i am excited just to hang out with her maybe we'll do like a little q a something a little fun with her but i'm actually running late i think i got my phone right here oh no i think i can be there in 10 minutes and it is 1 50 so that's what this video is going to be today. It's going to be super simple. It's just going to be us doing some crafts. It's going to be probably short, which short and sweet sometimes good. New Year's is in... New Year's is tomorrow. It's literally tomorrow. We're not doing anything for it. We're going to have a party and that's just not going to happen. We're going to have Mayor and Rob over and probably just going to hang out at home. Okay, let's head over to Mayor's. I hope I don't fuck it up, but we did get two canvases in case... And I have, I will show you, I have a 12 pound pail of plaster in my car. We're gonna be okay. We were, we're gonna make it work. All right, I will see you guys when we get there. Okay, so we literally only need three things. Well, four, that's including the canvas. So, well, you don't even need this. I got upsold at like Ace Harbor, so none of that. All you need is this plaster. Or there's a different brand too that Mare is using, but any white plaster is good. 
and then some putty knives. Did you got yours from Amazon? Yeah. I got mine from Ace Hardware. I got a 30 inch by 40 inch, and then a, oh yeah, there we go, 36 by 48 inch. That one's like big, but that's gonna like, it's gonna do the job. This will dry white, right? Yes. Okay. Do we have any gloves? I was gonna have yes. gloves. I was like, maybe we should do that. Yes, good idea. We also have some paper towels and water. And this is to like scrape your plaster. Hey guys, I'm popping in here really quick to talk about one thing that we are missing and it is a gel medium. In a future video, you're gonna see that our plaster actually cracked and that's very unfortunate and I wish I would have read more tutorials to understand that a gel medium would have helped my plaster be more flexible or I could have gotten a plaster that just was more flexible. Like there are different brands out there that have like extra flexible on the label and that could have probably helped as well. But I'm gonna show this gel medium right here that I found on Michaels. It is for $14.99 per eight ounces it looks like. This could have helped us and it could have saved us lots of more money because our plaster wouldn't have cracked. So I wanna make sure that yours does not crack and that you use something that will help make it more flexible. So make sure you use this and yeah, I will let you get back to the video. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna nice risk time. getting something on this and then once I get something on it, I'm gonna be pissed and then I'll take it off. Yeah, that's, that's usually how it goes. Okay. okay, do we have to prime this at all or we just go for it? Oh, I didn't, uh, we're not priming. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're going. Doing a lot of. Oh, you're just, you're just going for it. I am. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh yeah. This is kind of what we're thinking. I don't know if it will show in here. Ooh, there we go. Like chunky plastery vibes. Oh, you can buy this one for only $65. <laughs> but it looks small, so. This is fun. I know, isn't it fun? Yeah, it's honestly surprising. It's, it's less of, it's messy like, than I thought it was. Yeah, and it's one of those things too where it's like, you can always just go over it if you don't want yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. So. All right, we're gonna do like a crazy one. We'll show the like final. And then we're gonna like show how to do the actual one that we're gonna do. Deal. Okay. Here's the final product of our first one of like our test run. Yeah. So this is mine. And then that smears. Love it. Okay, so here's our test runs. I'm gonna go into the big one. That's all I have left, so we're gonna do that. All right, this is what we're going for. The squared texture. I feel like checkers is in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like the one that's gonna be like showing, you know, probably the most. Yes. I don't know though, I'm kinda liking that I'm one. I'm loving the other one too. So I'm like, shit, you might have two options. I guess. Okay, so maybe this wasn't a complete waste of money. No, this since I have to. Part of the project. He yeah, knew. He, knew. he knew. He knew what you needed. It's funny because I was like, 12 pounds of plaster? That's so much. Okay, I'm gonna use this like little trough thing and I'm putting it all in here. And then I'm gonna putty it out here like with the putty knife. So I get like straight edges. Cause I feel like this needs to be like more like perfectly, you know? Perfectly imperfect. Wait, it's gonna be the hard part. Am I gonna have like an even, you know what I mean? Right, so you have to like measure out like one. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Two. Do you want a pencil? Three, maybe. Four. Five. Honestly, I think it's perfect. Okay. I think we're good. So you gotta like measure out to make sure you get like the yeah, same same size. Jay Shetty posted a podcast and he talked about I think it was like seven questions of what you should ask yourself from 2022, and they're like fun not like fun questions, but I feel like they're kind of like cool questions, like something that you wouldn't like normally see. I love it. Okay, some of them are kind of like deep, so you don't have to go too deep, <laughs> but um, some of them are kind of fun. So I'll start off with like some of the easy ones first. This one you'll love. What's the best book or podcast you read this year? I honestly don't know, so I'm gonna be interested if like, I feel like you read so much that you might. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I'll give you two different, like fiction, nonfiction. Okay. Nonfiction, I think Good Morning Monster. And what was that about? It's a therapist who um, tells stories about five of her most interesting clients. Not to be cliche, but. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't have an answer. <laughs> it starts with us. Was really good, just because um, I really loved. It. it ends with us, and um, and it was like as good as it 
like was perceived to be. Yeah, I, I feel like it was. I feel like it had a lot of hype. So I didn't yeah, know. And there was a lot of hype, and some people, of course, books are hard because everybody. It's like art, you know. For like, sure. Not everybody likes the same things. Yeah. And I'm sure as an author, it's really hard when you can't please everybody. For sure. Okay, what about you? Ah, shit. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't read a lot, but okay. I feel like when I did read, I'm a basic bitch, kind of like you, I guess, okay. because you did do a quality book too. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, I feel like Verity like shook me to my core. Oh, yes, yes. And like, yes. it's just like, it's just so good. Like, it's, it's a, a good, really like, starter book. When someone's like, I don't read a lot, like, what exactly. should I read? I'm like, that one. <laughs> and that was me at the beginning of the year. I was like, I'm gonna get into reading. Yeah, and no, that's a really good one. That was a That gets one. people excited about yeah, reading. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So that was one of them. And then, um, podcasts. Okay, honestly, first of all, Jay Shetty has been great. Like, yes. I think he's just like a good, like, easy listen, and I love, like, the people he brings on. Totally. It's so funny, I used to hate Call Her Daddy. Like, mm -hmm. it was just too much for me, you yeah. know? But now that she, like, brings on people to, like, interview, yeah. I feel like it's more relatable. It's really good. Like, honestly, the one with John Mayer that day, he was interesting. Mm hmm But, like, him talking about his songs, like, how he made them was really cool. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of any other ones. I'm gonna look at my podcast. I just rearranged my apps so and now I can't, I'm lost on my phone. <laughs> you sound like my mom. She's, she's doing that all the time. Whenever she like needs like one app on her thing, she's like, it's all the But I love, I, like once a month I'll move my Instagram app because it's it makes you pause before you go to it. Yeah. And it like reminds you like, oh, exactly. here we go again. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I also really love Heather McMahon's podcast for comedy. Exactly. She's a comedian oh. and I just think she's so funny. Love that. Um, I definitely am picking, I pick and choose which Skinny Confidential I listen to. Me too, because sometimes I get There's some me. really good ones. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, I do want to start next year listening to the Huberman Lab. So I started listening to him yesterday. Yeah, what did you he's think? so funny. So he's very scientific, and like, I think it takes a specific person to like listen to it. Okay, I don't know if that, it's my jam, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, but some, he's really good at explaining and like dumbing it down, which is kind of about that. Okay, what made you happiest this year? I went on some really good girls trips this year. I would have to agree. And like, I love traveling with Robbie and I hope next year we get to travel together more. But yeah. I went on a couple bachelorettes this year that were just really, really fun. I love that. And I so feel like fun. in the past I've like, you get a little nervous before a trip. Or you're yeah. like, oh, I have a lot going on. But these ones I was just like so ready for. And probably because I took my sabbatical this year. That's true. And that's another thing that made me really happy. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I had no stress going into those, so that probably helped. But I just yeah. really <sighs> good catch the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I really think those like brought a lot out it's of me so true. and like really filled my cup. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It's actually a good point too because I think I had more girl shifts this year than I have in a long yeah, time. Yeah, I had them too. Like I feel like I had like the last time I did a really good girl shift was like college. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of nice to like have a good one. Yeah. What, what made me happy? I'm trying to think. <laughs> Honestly, this year I think I focused so much on like less. Gr I focus on giving myself more grace. Yeah. And like being like with myself and like in my quiet times, and that made me really happy. Because I feel like in the past, especially I was working in person, I, I was constantly go go. Yes. And this year I was like, dude, like just chill. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to be going until 9 p.m. Like at like maximum capacity. Yeah, that's. So really I think that was one big thing. I feel like this year too, like I stopped doing like super hard workouts yes. and like that stuff, which is made oh my gosh, a difference. So true. And like, just my day to day is like a lot lighter and it's not so like heavy and like tiring. Yep. Which really like, and like we're not gonna be able to be lazy forever, you know? Like we might have kids one day, so like that's one thing. That's true. I would also say that even though I hated it in the moment, that the Africa trip like changed a lot of things for me, gosh, which is so I random. I believe that was this year. I know. It was not that long ago. No, it was not that long ago. So I feel like that made me like weirdly happy at the end of it to like have a different perspective on life. Yep. Oh, I just stepped on them. Oh no. Oh no, it's okay. Oh no, it's on the, here, lift your foot up. Oh no. Here, grab towel, grab wet paper towels. Oh. First. This just happened. <laughs> Okay. okay, now that we... <laughs> intermission. Intermission for stepping on the art projects. <laughs> but they're fixed. And they're, but they're fixed, you're right. Okay, what I was going to do was going to show how to do this. How did I even step on that? 
Oh, I was taking off my gloves. <laughs> okay, so you take this and you kind of like even it out on the spatula. <laughs> no, putty knife. And you like make sure it's even. Okay, that's, that's what it needs to look like. And then you go like two different ways. So I'm gonna, this one you can kind of tell is like this way. And then I'm gonna go this way for this one. I feel like you don't want too much, otherwise it might look clumpy, but I don't know, because some of these I'm like, they could use more, but I feel like I could go over it mm -hmm. afterwards. Totally. Now that I went this way for this one, I'm gonna go this way. You want to make sure that like you go the length of your putty knife. So, like I need to go a little bit further on this one. Okay. Okay. The other trick is you need to like go light when you first press down, and then you need to like press down harder as like you go towards the end. That way, it kind of like it disperses out at the end. I mean like the smaller versus larger. Yeah. I think yeah. it's fun. All right, now that I got like the first coat down, I wanna pick back up J Shay. Okay, we'll do like the easier one first and then we'll go into the deeper ones. Okay. Okay. What is something you bought this year that like was your best purchase and like you really enjoyed? Well, purchasing our home this year was probably <laughs> the easy go-to answer. I feel like it's easy go-to. But I'm trying to do something oh, different like, than that. Yeah, like what's another one? It's super lame to say my sit-stand desk. <laughs> That is hilarious. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What about you? I would say my camera was Ooh. a really big one. Yeah, because I really enjoyed just like being able to like be creative and like, document videos. everything. Yeah. Love All that, that yeah. Uh, including like the editing software that everyone told me I shouldn't buy and I should just use like the free one. And like I'm so happy I bought mine. Yeah. Because like it's way, way more advanced, like way more fun to use. Cool. What else? Okay, I have another one. My yoga membership Ooh, you really enjoyed that i do and also the you gifting me form was a big one too isn't it interesting how something like that is like so easy but such like, a good gift yeah. yeah honestly i have loved my form journal for the past few mornings like i'm obsessed with it that makes me excited. every morning i sit down and i write in it no. it's so nice i've always wanted a journal i could like put my to-do list in yeah i love it it's so great uh, I've invested a lot of money in travel this year, and yes. I think that that was like huge. I love that too. I didn't save any money this year. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get them But next like, year. honestly, I think that that's okay to have a year like that and to like, yes, I don't know, um, to regroup next year. So that's why I'm starting off the year speaking to a financial advisor. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so that's one. Gorgeous. Next question is. What is challenging to overcome this year? Okay, I think like mentally I've overcome, like I said, like just being in the moment. Mm -hmm. I haven't even overcome it. It's still something that I need to overcome. <laughs> I really have something for next year. Um, like where I need to overcome that. Yeah. But yeah, I just feel like being in the moment is really hard for me and like being appreciative of like what I have and like I know I have so much, but it's mm -hmm. hard for me to like see that sometimes when like you're so like mentally just like shut off from it, you know? Yeah. I feel like sometimes my priorities are a little out of line, and I know this isn't really answering the question, but more so like something I want to be aware of next year. Mm -hmm. um, like what do you mean priorities out of line? I think it comes from being such a people pleaser sometimes. Totally get that. That there's times I should prioritize myself, or especially Robbie, and yeah, maybe I don't choose correctly, and then I, after the fact, I'm maybe upset that I didn't make more time for something yeah. or choose something different. 
It's funny, you're the sweetest human on planet Earth, but sometimes I think it comes at the expense of your own happiness. We literally had this talk the other night, Robbie and I, and he was Did like, you? He's like, I love your heart, but one of the hardest things is seeing you prioritize other things, but it's because you care so much. Uh-huh. And I think I've really let go of perfectionism this year. Me too! That was and a huge one this year. Like, if things aren't perfect, like, it's fine. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Last question is, what is your word for next year? <sighs> My word. I know. I know. My word for next year is peace. Ooh. Because it's one of the first years in a long time that I don't have a ton of plans next year. Like this year 100%. was very like um, bought a house, my best friend got married, so like being like all of those fun, exciting things, getting to be a part of that. Like I don't have a ton of big milestone things happening next year. Yeah. And I think I need to just like sit and be okay with that. But like idea. take advantage of the peace slowness. of it. Yeah, yeah. slowness, like focus on health, yeah. wellness, like you know, always <laughs> yeah. loving those things. For sure. But also like thinking about things I want to accomplish and really setting out to do them. But being at peace without moving a million miles a minute. I think that's such a good answer. Uh, mine's gonna be what one's gonna be patience. And I was telling Mary I texted the other day because I like freaked out. But the new form journal I got from Sammy Clark, I, the word of the day on my first ever entry was patience because mm -hmm. I lack patience a lot. And um, that day, when I, when I wrote it, I was like, you know what, I think it's going to be like my mantra for like next year, or like my, my word of the year. And that day was the day after I got really sick and I went to the pharmacy. And you know like when you drive through and like the, like the little drawer comes out? The drawer popped out and there's a little rock in there and it literally said patience on it. So cool. And I, I think I gasped. Yeah. I was like, <gasps> I was like, how crazy is that actually? So that's my one word. And then my second word, which was the second day I wrote my journal, was balance. Because mm -hmm. I, I struggle with work like balance a lot. And that day I turned the page and the quote on the next page that I didn't read before was about balance. That's so cool. I was like, that's so cool. So it's a little sign. It's a little sign having that I think are so cool. Mm -hmm. Those are my words. How much do you think this cost us? Because like, first of all, shout out this, I know, this just like size of a painting, I feel like it could go anywhere, like upwards of even a thousand dollars. If you really wanted to get like a yeah. minimalistic art painting, uh -huh. I think this cost us two paintings plus the plaster each, at least under 120. Yeah, and um, I, I did four, Canvases. Wait, oh you didn't even more. No, I have one more, but um, when I got them, they were buy one get two free. That's right. At Michaels, so shout out Michaels. Crazy. Okay, let's look at them. Okay, here's the final product. Oh, oh, she's good. She's good. I love it. And then we have one down there. <gasps> Fun. This was like the coolest little art project day. I can't wait to put it up. I'm obsessed. Okay, you guys, that was so much fun. I feel like if you want to do just like something fun with your friend, that that's like such a cheap and like fun idea to do is just like grab a few boards and some plaster and just like get creative with it. I literally loved every single second with it. And like, it's always so nice just to, like hang out with Mare anyways. We had a few casualties. My Ugg boots are definitely white on the bottom, but who cares because like no one's gonna see the bottom anyways. I'm not gonna resell them. So like, it's fine. But that was probably the only casualty. Um, what else? Oh, and like while that happened, I literally stepped on both of our paintings, mostly Mare's. My full boot went into Mare's and like my half my boot went into mine, like Jesus Christ. But I'm gonna head home. Right after this, I'm gonna show you like what they look like in our house and I'll show you what I do with them. I'm really excited to see them in the house and to see like, how they turn out actually drying. But we're gonna flip the clip over to this way and you can see the finished product. Many, many days later. <laughs> but here is one of the finished products. This is kind of like the main center of attraction that I wanted. Um, as you can see here, it I hung it up kind of right next to my gallery wall. I think it turned out so cute. However, I... I have a few things that I want to share about this one and like what I'm probably gonna do if I do it again, which I think I might. I might do another version of this. What I would do is make it a little bit larger. So you see how this doesn't match up with that. I think if I did this one a little bit taller, it, I would like it a lot better, but I can't move it up because then it's a little bit too like hot, 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 
whoa, I cannot talk. It's a little bit too high up compared to like where I think it should be in terms of like hanging up on the wall. So may do one again and do something very similar. And I also really want to get rid of that thing. But as of right now, I just don't have anything to put there. I think a cute like wooden bench would be super cute. And then I think hanging like a, like a little like light above it like right there would be amazing. So this is a finished product. Like you saw me pop in at the beginning of the vlog, you're going to notice that a lot happened. Look at these cracks. So you're gonna see a ton of these cracks all over and it's such a bummer. You can see right there and kind of like cracks right there. So this happened for a few reasons. Like I mentioned before, we forgot to put like a gel-like substance in there and it's really dry in Arizona. So I'm assuming that's why it also cracked. It's dry, it's cold right now. The weather may have made a huge difference here, but I am kind of bummed by it. Like you can see right here. But I think that if I were in a little bit thinner, if I didn't put on like the last few coats that we saw me put on, I probably wouldn't have had to deal with this, but I might want to redo it anyway, so it's okay. So next I'm gonna show you the sample test run that we did. This could have been so cool because look how cool it looks from far away like I think it's very interesting it's kind of a mess it's very I don't know artistic but as you get closer it cracked so bad like look at all that honestly such a bummer I'm thinking I'm going to paint it and just kind of see like if that helps a little bit I don't know I honestly just want to redo them all it wasn't that expensive and I think it would be a really fun like little art project to do again I'm probably gonna put this one in the guest room for right now but then I'm just gonna probably like redo it and do something very similar to it but I think it still turned out pretty cool. I am going to paint it in a different vlog and I'll kind of show you how I do that. And hopefully it's a little test run for my future projects that I do. And then one last thing that I think would really, really help with this type of art piece is buying a better quality canvas that can hold up to heavy plaster. These are pretty thin and they kind of move around a lot and I think it also causes the crack. So you can either do it with a heavier like canvas material that's just more sturdy maybe a little more expensive or i've seen people do it on wood like wood planks so try that out i hope you guys learned a thing or two and you learn from my mistakes so i had so much fun doing this with mare and i'm excited to do my my ones in the future and i will definitely share it with you i will talk to you all later and yeah bye wake, hear the birds and see the sun